guys this is me Pauri and I'm using this used canvas and I'm going to take this brush and black acrylic paint and just painting it all down on this canvas uh, I painted this drawing a long time ago and thought to do a mandala painting on it so once it's totally dried up as you can see there's a moon in the bottom left corner and I'm going to cover it all up and taking this compass I'm just doing a small quadrant kind of thing so that I don't mess up the process and just go with the you know sketch yes also I'm taking this pearl white acrylic paint because I don't have the simple one and uh, with this toothpick I'm just going to do like this small small polka dots don't worry if you mess up uh, you can again do with the black paint again you can put some of the black paint on it and yeah uh, similarly I'm doing with the red one just enjoy the process that's all I want to say so I have done all different polka dots and different layers of these spotted lines with different different tools like you know the sizes differ differ and um, I am doing the red one so I took this uh, marker pen kind of thing there's no refill inside it so don't worry and uh, I'm just dotting it all Putting it on on the canvas just to you know just to have a bigger blobs of it and using this you know something kind of like acupuncture tool yeah so I'm just using the pinpoint of this tool The red and white color were mixing because uh, the white one wasn't dried at that point of time so I just moved to do another layer of white polka dots. I'm doing this with golden acrylic paint. Uh, I'm using this time the back of a paintbrush. My paintbrush broke, so I'm just using the using the middle of it. And with the red one, make sure if you think like you're messing up somewhere, just draw with the use of camp compass again a semicircle kind of thing. Sorry, not semicircle. It's a quadrant. <laughs> yeah, quadrant. And here as you can see there was a little bit of white paint so I just covered it with a black one so I'm just doing the similar process for all the layers with different colors and different different sizes of dots it's a really enjoyable process you know mandala drawings are really therapeutic at least for me and I have a, I have heard a lot of people say that so here as you can see I used compass just to give that quadrant shape so that I don't mess up. Here I'm using the back of a paintbrush just to give a little bigger dots. Mandala paintings require a little bit more time but it's totally worth it, you know. It looks really traditional and ethnic and really beautiful. And I love mandala drawings. So I layered the red one and green one similarly and taking the back of this acupuncture tool and taking the white acrylic paint I'm just going to put like bigger blobs. For this process you can even use 
cotton buds or something whatever is lying around your house and whatever is in your drawer anything and so yeah here i have done the red layer the golden gray layer and a small dotted layer and i'm taking this acupuncture tool again and just doing my white bigger polka dots just make sure to maintain a good distance between them so that it looks clean you can try different sizes different shapes of whatever you like to do with your mandala just be, be creative with it so i'm just doing the small small polka dots so that I, you know it looks something like bigger smaller 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 than them. Just these are really simple drawing and anyone can do this it requires a little more time than amazing i love doing mandala drawings do it when you're feeling really low or like you know you want something good so yeah you can do mandala drawings yeah my mandala drawing is almost done After a day, it's totally dry. I took this velcro. I just sticked it to the walls and yeah this is how it looks there are some pictures so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching you love